Recluse install videos are meant for general reference only. Please follow the installation manual supplied with your kit for the most accurate information. This video will show you how to install the Recluse Radius X for the BMW F650, F700, and F800 parallel twins. If the OE cable length has been changed due to bike modifications, please note that a longer cable may be needed to adjust the Recluse clutch properly. Lay the bike on its right side and catch any fuel that might drain into a suitable container. Soak the EXP and friction discs in primary or transmission oil for 5 minutes. Make sure the EXP and friction discs are coated on both sides. Remove the kickstand bracket and disconnect the kickstand safety switch. Then remove the shift lever. Loosen the jam nut and unthread it from the cable adjuster. Use channel lock pliers to detach the clutch cable from the actuator arm. Remove the clutch cable from the clutch cover and secure it out of the way. Remove the oil fill plug from the clutch cover. Remove the clutch cover bolts. Then remove the cover being careful not to damage the cover gasket. If the washer sticks to the back side of the cover, remove it and place it back on the shifter shaft. Remove the pressure plate bolts and springs. Then remove the pressure plate and throw out. Remove the OE clutch pack. It may be necessary to use picks to reach the bottom of the clutch pack. Inspect the basket tangs for notching or wear. If the basket tangs are notched or worn, replace the clutch basket before continuing the installation. Inspect the center hub for notching or wear. If notched or worn, replace the clutch center hub before continuing the installation. Some OE baskets have half slots at the top of the basket. When installing the Recluse clutch pack, the entire clutch pack must be installed in the main basket slots to avoid performance issues. Note that some frictions are marked with a colored tab or dot. This mark is used for processing and can be ignored. To install the Recluse clutch pack, begin by installing a 60 thousandths of an inch thick steel drive plate. Next, install the 124 thousandths of an inch thick friction disc. This friction disc is provided by Recluse. On top of the friction disc, install another thick steel drive plate. Install all basket sleeves into the OE basket. Make sure the tabs of the sleeves face toward the inside of the basket and that the tabs are seated all the way down. Continue to install the clutch pack by installing a thin friction disc followed by a steel drive plate. Continue to alternate steel drive plates with friction discs for the entire clutch pack. Install the EXP disc into the clutch basket, making sure that the tabs of the disc are placed in the main basket slots. Install the last thick steel drive plate on top of the EXP disc. Install the pressure plate and throw out onto the clutch basket. Next, install the OE springs and bolts. Then, tighten the bolts in a star pattern. Torque the bolts in a star pattern to OE specifications. Reinstall the clutch cover gasket or install a new gasket if the old gasket is torn or damaged. Reinstall the clutch cover making sure the throwout is aligned correctly with the actuator mechanism in the cover. Reinstall the cover bolts. Tighten the cover bolt in small increments in a star pattern. Torque the cover bolts to OE specifications. Reattach the cable to the kickstand. Apply Loctite 245 to the bracket bolts, then reinstall the kickstand bracket to the bike. 
torque the bracket bolts to OE specifications. Reinstall the shift lever onto the bike. Be sure to apply Loctite to the bolt before reinstalling it. Feed the clutch cable through the clutch cover, then thread the jam nut onto the adjuster. Wait to tighten it until after you've set the installed gap. Use a pair of channel lock pliers to reattach the clutch cable to the actuator arm. Stand the bike back up, then install the provided warning sticker on the back side of the clutch lever. To set the installed gap, adjust the clutch cable so that there is no free play between the clutch lever and the perch. How to check free play game. Place the bike in neutral and let the bike warm up for a few minutes. Stretch the included rubber band around the handlebar and loop it to the outside end of the clutch lever. While still in neutral, quickly rev the engine about a quarter to half throttle, then let it return to idle. Notice the movement in the clutch lever when you rev the engine. The clutch lever should move about one eighth to a quarter inch when the engine is revved. You can also check free play gain by using your hand. Just place your hand on the clutch lever and take up the excess slack. While the bike is in neutral, rev the bike as before and check the movement of the lever. If the clutch lever moves less than an eighth of an inch, or more than a quarter of an inch, check your installation manual for instructions on how to adjust your free play gain. Before you begin riding with your new clutch, it is important to break it in. See your install manual for additional information. Be sure to check out a rider's guide on how to ride with your new clutch. Enjoy the ride.